Are you thinking of studying computer science? Or maybe you're going to start your computer science degree later this year. Well, whatever your situation is, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This channel is all about preparing young people for adult life whilst being a boss in the process. In today's video, I'm going to go through some of the pros and cons of studying a computer science degree. To be fair, it's a pretty cool degree. But before we get into the video, if you could hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, that would be really helpful. And also drop any questions down below in the comment section. But anyways, let's get straight into it. So we will begin with the pros, but a quick disclaimer, I study computer science, but this is not a biased video. Listen, listen, I'm just putting the information in front of you for you to make your decision. So the first pro is that a computer science degree is a respected degree. Being able to say that you have a computer science degree shows that you have an analytical mind, you can problem solve, you're not afraid of numbers and most importantly you know how to use computers and employers love that. Pro number two you're going to gain a broad exposure to the field of computer science. So against what many people might say, computer science isn't just about programming. It is a huge field with many different disciplines. And what a computer science degree offers is the opportunity to explore all of these different disciplines so that you can decide where you might want to specialize in. The third pro. So just like you'll be able to explore different disciplines within computer science, you'll also be able to explore different programming languages. And by having experience in many different programming languages, you will look more valuable to employers and you'll also be able to choose whether you would like to use certain programming languages for your own personal projects. So nothing will be stopping you from making that multi-million dollar app. And that brings us on to pro number four. Studying computer science allows you to think creatively. So if you're quite a creative person with an interest in computer science, that will help you massively when you design websites, apps, and software. Pro number five. So I touched on this a little bit in point three, but one of the best reasons to study a computer science degree is that you'll be able to use the skills that you learn for practical purposes in your everyday life. Think about it, if you can understand computer hardware and software to an advanced level, then you'll be able to maximize the use of your personal computers and devices. So a computer science degree definitely has its pros, but let's consider some of the cons of studying a computer science degree. The first con, if you don't have any interest in computer science, then you just won't survive. I mean, this goes without saying, computer science is not an easy degree. So if you have zero interest or motivation in studying for it, other than it might look good on your CV, then you probably shouldn't study it. Con number two, and this is a pretty big one in my opinion. You don't need a computer science degree to learn how to code. So if you simply wanna learn how to code, you can do that using courses and resources online, and that will be a lot cheaper than going into university. Con number three, you will probably need a decent laptop. And decent laptops are usually quite expensive. So you might be using some applications and software that are quite processor intensive. So if you have a laptop with good specs, then that will help you to complete your work smoothly. I mean, the last thing that you want is your computer to crash whilst it's compiling code oh, no. or if you're trying to run a particular software because that is just a nightmare. No one likes it. So you need a good laptop. And con number four, most courses assume that students don't know anything about computer science. That is specific to first year computer science. I mean, you wouldn't be doing a master's in computer science and your university would assume that you don't know anything about computer science. I mean, I'm just saying that so that everyone's on the same page. And the reason that this is a con is because if you are a computer science genius, then you might find the first few lectures, especially in coding modules, quite simple, and you might wanna get through them fast. So if you are a computer science genius or a programming prodigy, then you might just have to wait a few lectures until things really start to ramp up. So that's that. Now, if you are unsure about which university you wanna to go to, then watch my review on Loughborough University, and I'll see you guys next time for another video.